Antonio Brown has filed a second grievance with the NFL over the right to wear his helmet. Just like with the first time when he filed a grievance, the NFL will say no, you cannot wear the helmet. He's going to lose this time around as well. Antonio Brown needs to understand that he's got to wear an approved modern NFL helmet. There are so many helmets that he could choose from. I'm hearing reports about there being about 35 helmets that he could wear. He needs to find one of those helmets, put them on, and get that certified and approved. He needs to stop choosing these helmets that are not going to get approved. These old helmets or these helmets that are coming from, I don't know where he's getting these helmets from, but it's not working. On top of that, he's being a distraction to his team. I know John Gruden and Mike Mayock have got to be beyond fed up with Antonio Brown. I know they did not see this coming at all. It's just too much drama, it's too much headache over a helmet. All the other players in the NFL have adapted to their new helmets. I'm pretty sure that not all of them like their helmets. He's not the only one. But guess what? They're not throwing hissy fits about it. They're just putting their helmets on and they're playing. Antonio Brown needs to follow suit and do the same thing too. He's being too much of a distraction to the Raiders and it's not fair to his teammates, it's not fair to the staff, and it's not fair to the Oakland fans. They deserve more than that. I like Antonio Brown. He's one of my favorite players. I cannot support what he's doing here. I understand he's upset about not being allowed to wear this helmet he got. Okay, get upset, but don't let your anger and your frustration hurt your teammates and hurt the staff and hurt the fans. This is not right. He needs to just find a helmet like everybody else, like all the other football players, put it on, start practicing, and help the Raiders out. Last season, the Raiders were 4-12. and So they're looking to bounce back from that poor season they had. He can really help them out. He's such a great wide receiver. If anything, he should be doing the opposite of being a distraction. He should be joining his teammates in practice. He should be practicing and helping them play well. And he's one of those guys, he can do that. He can motivate through his play and through his words, but he's choosing not to do that. He's choosing instead of practice and play with his teammates, he's choosing to be a distraction. If I were John Gruden, I'd pull him aside privately and I would say, Antonio Brown, enough is enough. You're being too much of a distraction. Get an approved helmet, put it on, let's keep going. We didn't bring you here to be this huge distraction. We, we paid you $30 million. We gave you a lot of money. So we're expecting you to be mature and we're expecting you to help us win games. That's why we brought you in here. So either you're down with that or you're not. They pretty much have to give Antonio Brown an ultimatum. It's come to that. And what is so sad is the season hasn't started yet and it's causing all these problems. What's going to happen if there's another issue he has? What if he doesn't like having to wear knee pads, for example? What if he feels uncomfortable with the knee pads? Is he going to complain about that? Is he going to complain and, and throw a hissy fit about everything that he doesn't like? I hope he doesn't do that. If I was a Raider teammate, I'd talk to him as well. Like, hey, Antonio, we really need you. You're being too much of a distraction right now. We know that you're upset with your helmet issue, but this is too much. And what I don't understand is he's had over a year to find a new helmet. Why he's waiting to now to do all of this is beyond me. I, I don't understand it. And I'm sure other people don't understand it as well. He needs to just get a helmet, play, and show us why he's one of the best wide receivers in the game. Because he is. I'll put him up there with Julio Jones and David Beckham and all the other great receivers. He's so gifted. He's so dynamic. He's electrifying. He just has to stop with the antics, stop being a distraction, and help the Raiders get back to prominence. And he can do that. He's definitely a game changer. We'll just have to wait and see what he decides to do. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video and also click on the notification bell. 
That way, you will not miss out on any new content that I post. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope that all of you have a blessed, wonderful day.